Isn't this cute? Little picture, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So easy. First, you're going to need to get your pictures printed out on um, cardstock. What I did, I just found these on the computer and I copied them to a Word document and then I shrunk them down to the size I needed. Okay, for my dollhouse. And then I'm using actually um, the leftover pieces of wood from when I was building my um, dollhouse, the kit. So just FYI, um, to sh save all your wood pieces because you never know um, you may be able to use them for something and that's exactly what I'm doing I'm using pieces um, from the dollhouse kit to make my pictures so anyway I'm going to show you really quick how to do it um, you, this is like I said this is a piece of wood from my dollhouse kit and um, you're going to need this and I've, I've shrunk the picture down to the size that I need it to fit on this piece of wood and uh, first you're going to need some Mod Podge. This is so easy. And you're just going to put the Mod Podge right on the wood. And these pictures are actually going to be from my kitchen in my dollhouse. I'm having the best time decorating this dollhouse. And these are going to be so cute. I'm making two pictures. I'm going to show you how to Mod Podge really easy. The Mod Podge is going to glue it on there, right on the wood. Then you're just going to do a, a quick cover on the front. And once that dries, it'll be real shiny. Okay, so that's just a quick lesson on how to Mod Podge it. So let it dry, it'll dry clear, and it'll look really pretty. I've got one um, over here. I'm actually gonna have two pictures in my kitchen. This one's already been Mod Podged and it's dry. See how pretty it is? And then the next thing I did to get this kind of look, like an antique-ish look, I painted the edges with my favorite paint. I love this stuff, metallic paint. 24 karat gold, love it, I use it a lot. So what I did, I just painted along the edge, and when I did, some of it kind of got on the outside here, on the borders, and I just left it that way, okay? And to get the brown look, or black look around the edge, I'm using just a little tiny Sharpie pen. It's the fine, and what I'm doing, I'm just going along doing this like this just marking it on the side along the edge as close as you can even if you come out a little bit further away from the edge it just gives you a little bit more on um, that antique look or vintage look or whatever you want to call it and then I kind of let me get something to wipe this with where is a piece of Kleenex or a paper towel before it dries, I just kind of smudge it to kind of blend it in. Can you see it? Just and you just keep putting it on there until you get it the way you want. And just go all the way around. See, it's going to be so cute. So both of these, once I get them finished, I'm going to put them in my dollhouse in the kitchen. I think it's going to go, I'm thinking about by the stairs in the kitchen. So anyway, I hope you um try this out, making these very easy. And it'll be beautiful in the dollhouse. Next week I'll show you, show you um, them hanging in the dollhouse. And I'm getting some kitchen furniture, so I'm excited to show off my kitchen next week. So stay tuned. Um, have a wonderful day, and God bless you. Bye-bye.